Hi everybody, it's Neil Barnett here, Product Manager at Mattermost. I'm going to show you today some of the improvements in our 7.7 release, specifically around playbooks, task actions, integration with our 1.6 GitLab plugin, and how you can use these features to standardize your release process and eliminate toil and errors. So here we have the overview for our release playbook. I can see historic runs for my releases. I also have information on runs currently in progress and those who are participating. If I want to look at the outline of the run, here's where we're now standardizing the release process itself. You'll notice in the summary, we are now supporting variables. These variables, as you can see, are defined as the projects associated to a release stage. And we have three, you may have one or more. And these variables can then be reused in the checklist and actions in the playbook. And talking of actions, if I was to look here at our pre-release stage, I have a task action. This task action is looking for a message from specifically here, the GitLab bot. This can be for any user in the playbook itself. And you'll notice that I'm looking for a particular message to appear in the playbook run. Worth noting here, you can see that this is markdown format. We do display this as a header in bold. But of course, the message itself is defined as this. You need to match that. When this is matched, both in text and from the user, we'll mark the task as done. You'll see here we have other stages, and you can use tax actions outside of the context of just a GitLab bot. If you have other processes or statuses that are standard in your release process, you can add a checklist item and a task action to automate it. So let's go ahead and start a new release. I'm going to hit the run here. And I'm instantly presented with the run name. Now I'm going to say this is release 780. This is useful because it's used by the variables themselves. So I start the run. And you can see here I'm dropped straight into the playbook and I'm going to go to the release channel so I can show you the responses coming back from GitLab. So here we are in our release. Playbook one for 7.80. Um, I've assigned myself a manager. I've run a subscription here. Uh, this is for the messages. And I'm now going to run one of my pipelines. You'll see here responses coming back from GitLab. And that as it's running the process, we have seen in the channel and we have dutifully ticked to move on to the next stage. All members and all parties can see the information come back from GitLab. So everyone's informed. And now you can see that stage is complete. I'm going to go ahead and run an update. Update that status for all my colleagues to see. Final task is I'm going to go ahead and remove the subscription. And now we come towards the end of our release. We had our post-release activities and we have a few more. That's just part of how the business releases the software. Uh, we have uh, the need to publish a release blog. We want to track the KPIs. And then finally, we're going to just go ahead and use the playbook finish command just to close out on this particular release. Now, of course, here you could run a retrospective. If you want to know more about this, please reach out to us. Um, you'll find me on community. It's Neil Barnett. Thanks for listening.